So today's video is called Zero Waste Side Effects. I do actually think I'm gonna burp. That isn't one of them. Hey guys, I'm Kate Arnell. This is EcoBoost. You are great for watching this. So today's video is called Zero Waste Side Effects. It sounds like it might be contagious, which could be a good thing. These are some of the things that I've noticed that have changed in my life since transitioning to zero waste. I'm definitely not saying if you start to adopt zero waste practices that you are going to experience the same things. That is not what this video is about. It's just more of a, I'm sharing with you guys what I've noticed in my life and hey, some of them might have happened to you. So let's crack on with the video. Woo! I've definitely noticed like a huge boost in confidence. I think it's something to do with like living your values, feeling true to yourself and knowing that you are doing the best that you can um, makes you just feel like, Yes! Asking a service or a brand or a person to try and do something to fit in with my values. The thought of doing that before going zero waste would have been so cringe-worthy. I would have just gone, no, that sounds awkward. Why would I put myself in that situation? They're gonna hate me. But now it's something that I don't even think about. I just ask people, whoa, things are falling over. I just ask people or brands or services to adopt their way of doing things to suit me as a customer. Especially when you shop at like smaller local businesses, they are way more accommodating and they really want you to spend your money with them. Happiness. So as I said before, with the whole like living your values gives you more confidence, I've definitely found that it's made me a lot happier as a person. Sure, there are side effects with the whole like zero waste thing, and especially at first, I think, you get really frustrated, A, with yourself, with society, with brands and manufacturers, with industry, with your friends and family for not quite getting why you're doing things or for making mistakes. I think there's so much information. It can be so overwhelming and you can find yourself just sinking into a pit of doom of, oh my gosh, is there a way out? Is there? But when I pared it down and just focused on what I was doing, my everyday activities, making little swaps and changes, overall, I do feel like really, really happy about the way I'm living my life. I really enjoy learning new things. And I guess for so long, I was like living in a sort of halfway place of wanting to buy organic but feeling really frustrated that almost all organic produce in supermarket is packaged in plastic packaging. It's definitely like a big happiness in living your values. I also think the whole zero waste thing really made me aware of what my values are. I definitely feel that before my focus was very much on the cost of things and not on the quality or how they were made or where they might end up at the end of their life. Um, so I've definitely reprioritized um, what's important to me sense of smell. So my sense of smell has gone from being the person who could just about smell something if there was a strong smell in the room to now being the person who is like, guys, can you smell that? Who's got a fragrance off? It's a dog farted three streets away. Wait, it's a cat. I do think it's something to do with cutting out toxic cleaning products, cutting down chemicals in makeup and personal care products, to the point now that I really struggle to be around synthetic fragrance. My throat starts to do this slightly kind of scratchy, I don't want to say closing up, it's not closing up, but it's like it goes taut. Tense and scratchy. It kind of makes you a bit of a less huggy person. So that is another side effect of going zero waste for me. I'm definitely a lot less huggy because if I hug somebody who's wearing a synthetic fragrance and it's, it sticks to me, not just for hours, days. Even after having a shower, it's still there. How am I still smelling this? Hey, I'm bringing back the high five. That needs to make a comeback. So if I don't hug you and high five you instead, just now you know why. You could say I'm a little sensitive. Or you could just say I'm odd. Confession, I do actually have an organic and natural cleaner who comes twice a month and they do actually make their own um, products from bicarbonate of soda and from vinegar. They even turned up with their own lemon. You know when you realise in life what your strengths and weaknesses are, I'm definitely not uh, someone who's very good at cleaning. I've definitely put a lot of effort into it over the years. I've just realised I'm a bit rubbish at it, like genuinely, genuinely crap. I should do a lazy girl's guide to going zero waste because I think I'd be a pro at that. So we've got a cleaner, but they are um, really brilliant and they do use just like vinegar and bicarbonate of soda. Hooray! And a few essential oils. 
I've learned new skills. That is another side effect of going zero waste. I'm a big foodie, I'm really into food, and I love sort of learning how to make things from scratch. And it was definitely something like, as a kid, I would ask my mum, how do you make that thing in a jar? Could we make it from scratch at home? This doesn't necessarily apply to things like uh, beauty products, etc. I can't be bothered to make my own natural body butter, I can't, it doesn't interest me. But I do love learning how to make things like pasta from scratch and my gosh, it's beautiful. Kombucha, I was buying that in bottles before for about a year before I learned how to make it and I've realized it's so blooming simple to make. I will do a video on it, I know, it's coming. I'm just trying to work out how to film in my peculiarly small kitchen. The second I work that out, I will get a few recipe videos coming your way, guys. Another side effect of going zero waste is the fact that I've connected with so many awesome people. I've made new friends. So I did get to meet Lauren Singer about two years ago when I went over to New York. Yasmin, um, the owner of the dry goods store where I do a lot of my bulk uh, package free shopping. She's really cool. Dougie McMaster, the guy behind Silo, the zero waste restaurant in Brighton. He is so cool and I am so pleased to have met him and he's really kind of taking a completely different approach to what is normally a very like wasteful industry, the whole restaurant industry. He's just a cool guy. He's a cool guy don't really get ill anymore. I genuinely do believe that this is related to the whole zero waste thing. I think having access to what you consider junk food or processed foods, it's kind of limited when you go zero waste. So I guess we're generally like eating a lot better. Uh, I do also believe the fact that I started eating meat again about eight years ago has definitely improved my immune system. And if I do get like the tickle of a sore throat or something, it's gone pretty quickly. Um, I'm sure there are multiple factors as to why this has happened, but I've definitely noticed a huge, huge improvement in my well-being since going zero waste. Again, this is something that isn't guaranteed to happen, it might not happen to you, it totally depends on the person and it's just something that I've noticed has happened to me. So there you go, those are just some of the side effects that I've experienced. I'd love to hear like how you've changed or how you feel in yourself by going zero waste or making more environmentally kind choices in life. Whack them in the comments. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you haven't already, then subscribe. I'd really like it if you stuck around. I really would.